Imagine a glob of tar hits the coast of Israel. No one knows where it came from or how much is coming. Municipalities hear of the impending environmental disaster, but without training, there is no expected course of action. No response has been planned. The next day, thousands of volunteers descend upon the shore. Kind-hearted and wanting to help, they start scooping up the sticky tar. Some, untrained, are picking up pieces of the ecosystem along with it. Some are breathing in the hazardous fumes, resulting in hospitalizations of hundreds of good intention volunteers. Without a planned response, the tar begins to harden and sink into the sand, creating an even larger problem. Luckily, that is not the story that panned out on February 17th, 2021, when oil was found washing up on the shores of the Mediterranean. Thanks to EcoOcean, an Israeli nonprofit that focuses on positive activism, municipalities have been prepared to respond to this environmental crisis. It was about four years ago that EcoOcean realized there was a lack in government planning for a potential impending oil spill. I spoke to Eric Rosenblum, the CEO of EcoOcean, about a year ago, and he told me a little bit about their emergency response endeavor. Sadly enough, um, the Israeli government has not completely prepared uh, the state, the country, for oil spills. He explained they weren't worried about oil spills coming from Israeli rigs. We're actually worried about the fact that 90% of the, um, the oil for Europe comes through the Suez Canal and goes across our coast. And all it takes is one ship to make a mistake. And unfortunately, Eric was right. Israel closed all its Mediterranean beaches until further notice on Sunday, days after an offshore oil spill deposited tons of tar across the country's 160 kilometer of coastline in what authorities are calling one of the country's worst environmental disasters. At the time, they didn't know where it was coming from or how much was coming. But response efforts quickly began as the tar continued rolling up on the shore. Response efforts that required thousands of helping hands. The thing about oil spills is that they're difficult to clean up. The oil is sticky and attaches to the environment. So big machines will disturb the ecosystem if they try to clean it. Human hands are the best tool we have in cleaning up oil spills that have reached the shore. We're now training thousands and thousands of, of volunteers to be the emergency team for oil spills in Israel. That was Eric a year ago. How are things panning out now that there has been a spill? Right now, we're in the middle of a, uh, a major crisis. That was Eric in late February of 2021. A major crisis? Yes. But thanks to EcoOcean's foresight, cleanup efforts are safely underway. 11,000 people are now in our database. We send them out almost daily to exactly where the need is to exactly the responsible authority that can take them and ensure their safety. Um, and it's working. In early March, cleanup efforts have removed around 12,000 tons of tar. And while that is incredible news, Eric and other experts expect these efforts to go on for months as they move from the sandy surfaces to the rocky surfaces of the beach. And while we're not in Israel, we want to help. So what can we do? One thing is every single volunteer that 
works need to get a basic kit of equipment so that they won't harm themselves in in cleaning up uh, the tar. So we are giving kits like that in the hundreds and thousands to municipalities in need. So you can support EcoOcean. There's going to be a donation link wherever you are listening to this. We ask you to head over there and help them help the Mediterranean Sea. We're still only supported by donors. The government doesn't pay us for what we're doing. Um, and the money can run out. And in case you need a little bit more of a push to donate, listen to what else they're planning on doing. We're trying to see if we can in any way or form, if we can help our neighbors. They're also having the same situation and don't have the infrastructure, didn't prepare for it, and live off fish and fishing. So thank you, EcoOcean, for all the work you've done in the years leading up to this event, to the countless hours you've given in response to this disaster. And Eric noted they are not alone in this endeavor. There are tons of organizations and companies and individuals that are lending a hand. So thank you to the thousands of volunteers that are doing their part to repair the sea. Who knows what the coast of Israel would look like without you? That's a lot. That is an abundance that you guys are doing. And definitely sounds like we need to get the community rallying behind you guys. That'd be great.